firefighters, we are told, was able to get a man who lives here out to safety, but Shanae Dickens was still trapped inside. She was rushed to the hospital with severe burns and smoke inhalation and sadly died of her injuries there at the hospital. But listen to the sister's reaction and from a neighbor. My sister was a beautiful spirit. We were um, very close. Um, we grew up together um, and in 2018, like I said, we just lost our mom from cancer. We have retinitis pigmentosa, which is a disease that helps uh, inhibit your vision at night. So the fact that she was in that burning house trying to feel her way around was terrible. Heard her one good time, said I couldn't breathe. And that was it, didn't hear nothing else. It was, it was just really sad. It just makes you want to go check on your neighbors even if you don't know them, you know? And the family has set up a GoFundMe to help with the burial costs. We'll post that link on our website, WTVR.com. Meanwhile, investigators are still working to figure out exactly how this fire started. They're asking for your help if you have any information to give police and firefighters a call. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brendan